Earlier, I mentioned that the National Lottery started 20 years ago this week, and I asked you what you would do if you won a large amount of money. I'd probably... Ugh, there are too many options. But would you do this? Thea Bristow was facing redundancy from work when she woke up one Sunday morning in 2004 and checked her numbers. Check the, the teletext headlines and it said one winner wins the 15 million super draw. And then I thought, I recognise some of those numbers, perhaps we've won a tenner. Um, I went to get my ticket and thought, ah. Thea had just won 15 million pounds. The rest of that day did ordinary Sunday things. We went to church, we had Sunday dinner, we played Scrabble, and then my husband, Paul, joined me. I said, we've won the 15 million on the lottery, and he said, oh, you know, there was no real reaction from Paul. And um, he said, oh, good, I can take the cubs away. And I thought, you're yeah, right, OK. So Thea and Paul took their entire cub group to Canada on the holiday of a lifetime, the first of many generous acts, including buying this woodland for the whole community to use. We bought these woods with an inkling that this would be the next place to get built on. It's a very peaceful place most of the time. And communing with God or nature or even just Paul. In 2010, Thea's husband Paul passed away. But not before this lifelong football fan had bought a share in his favourite club, Torquay United. What, whatever happens, this is what we're doing, I think. And that means that Thea is now chairman, and she's making her mark. Um, when the opportunity arose to build something with, with the council, the LEA, and the Football Foundation, this was something that I wanted to build in, in memory of Paul. And it's so good for this ground, it makes it look like a stadium. This is my church over there. Um, the tower is the uh, Anglican one. One of the best things about the services in this church is the music. At her church, Thea also paid to have the organ refitted. Here, particularly, everybody was just so pleased for us. Yes, you could spend it all on yourself, you could fritter it away, you could spend your life on holiday in the Caribbean, but life is still life and you have got to live with yourself. And I think if you give, it makes a difference to how you live.
Well, that's almost it for today. Next week, David visits Kingston upon Hull, a city twinned with Freetown in Sierra Leone, determined to do all they can to help the Ebola crisis in Africa. And we've got music from the queen of Boogie Woogie, American soul singer Donya Oxford. And now, to sing us out, let's join the Salvation Army. Songs of Praise next week is at 4.15. You have until Friday to enter the School Choir of the Year competition. Details online. Tonight on BBC One, a film premiere that you won't want to miss. Steven Spielberg's take on War Horse is at 8.00.